The Seminoles scored one minute and 19 seconds into the game and overwhelmed Colorado to advance to the Elite Eight with a 4-0 victory. Overall, it's a good, solid professional performance. Didn't give up a whole lot of chances and uh, created a good number of them. I'm quite pleased with uh, uh, the flank play and, um, and the scoring chances we created, as well as uh, obviously finishing uh, four goals against uh, a top level team at this uh, stage of the NCAA tournament is pretty good. I feel like it's important to come out and play hard in the beginning. And I feel like um, when we score so early, we can control, I guess, the game from the beginning. So we can like calm down a little bit, but maybe we calm down a little too much in the middle of the first half. <laughs> but we did what we had to do. I think it's good. and it we, a lot of players have been there before, but a lot of haven't, so it's a good experience for all of us, and I think everyone's just really excited to keep going into the tournament. Getting told, too, by Mark and the coaching staff of where to be at that time, and the ball service, and just going and seeking the ball and trying to get there for it. Certainly some nice uh, combination play, and um, uh, good teamwork, uh, quality serves, and uh, good timing of the runs, and good finishes as well. So. Uh, Dagny has uh, always been a good uh, finishing player in the round the box, but uh, she's certainly peaking at the right time. Well, our expectations don't change. We, we know that uh, with the players that we're bringing in, we talk about development all the time and working hard and getting better. I certainly credit my staff for the amount of time and preparation they put into each and every game that we go into. Um, there's, there's not often a, a surprise that comes to, uh, to, to beat us. So. Um, we feel as though we're going to give our players every bit of information that they need to go out and compete and um, then uh, we talk to them about applying the information and if they apply it and we give them good information then we're successful and if we miss something well shame on us so we're, we're going to continue to do as we've done and hopefully we can uh, be sitting here in a week's time and be thinking about uh, the next the next round but uh, as a matter of fact, I have some work to do. The Seminoles will now face either Boston College or Illinois next Friday right here at the Seminole Soccer Complex in that Elite Eight matchup. That'll wrap up things for now. Lane Hurt, Seminoles.com.